Hi, this is Tim from Ionera and I'm glad that I can welcome you to this tutorial slash demonstration about source code analysis with chord diagrams. Our inspiration for this approach was the financial crisis because there we saw di chord diagrams of countries that were lending other countries money and chord diagrams were used to inspect the cyclic dependency of countries. Right here we don't use countries, we use Java packages and the amount of method calls and you see the packages are aligned at the border and the connections are the method calls. Once you select the package at the, by clicking the outer border it gets added to the current selection. You can see the current selection with the green arrow highlighted and then you get new set of controls drill down or filter for the current selection. Furthermore you got some few controls at the top. For instance you can control if you want only to see incoming or only outgoing connections from a selected and highlighted package. And once you select such a package you see the current selection, you get the new controls where you can say you want only to see this package or you want to exclude this package from the selection. You have different options there and now you see I select outgoing connections and now I just see the outgoing connections of this package. This means all the package where I have method calls to the other package get then highlighted. What means that you can see the call graph by activating step by step where the method go, calls go to. So when you see this right doing here, I click all the packages and then you see which package gets get then called by those. However, I switch now the mode to incoming. This means not the, where the method go, calls go to, but where the method calls come from and then I switch back to outgoing and incoming and now I switch back to outgoing. However, I activate the packages again to see the call graph and once they are all activated I say filter for the selection. This means I just see the packages that have been in the selection to exclude all the stuff that is not relevant to me and now I see only the packages that have this outgoing graph. I start selecting again and see step by step which call, which package calls which package, how often. When I would hover over the different connections I would see the amount of method calls. And now I say, oh, I drill down into the selection. Drill down means now I'm at a certain package level and now I go back and expand the package level one step further to get the packages that are lower in the hierarchy. Let me do an example what deeper in the hierarchy means. First you have org.eclipse, now you have org.eclipse.jdt. This means just step by step one level deeper in the package hierarchy. What you can see now is I selected the outgoing connections and I collect all the packages where method calls go to and I always new packages exp appear because the packages that get called when I activate them they call other packages themselves. So and I start the selecting step by step all the packages that I have at this hierarchy level that call each other to see which components are belonging together and that I could separate in all in an own component or component on a higher level scene. And say okay now, if nothing new appears, then I'm done with my job and see all these components need each other. So if I want to deploy this model package, then I get this dependency with nearly all the stuff. So you can see how you can explore this to detect the interwining. Now I filter for all the packages that are dependent on each other. 
this means that only the packages that have method calls to another package uh, get shown and all the stuff that is not of the current interest is not shown anymore. Right now I start the same game again and start to find out which packages are independent. I have now a much better overview um, and do this outgoing method calls game again and I select and deselect to, to dig into and see ah this means so many method calls there or um, I just so show the functionalities that you can use. Now I double click at the border and this means I deactivate the current selection and I start with a smaller package to see the outgoing or incoming dependencies or both to see okay this package is only calling itself mainly so I say I drill down in this specific package and now I get down to the real types in this package and there I see you which classes are calling which classes I can select the class now that you have seen I just selected one class and said exclude. Now I see this class calls that or I see incoming and outgoing at the same time. This class seems only to call itself so I select it and I say exclude from selection so because I just want to see the classes that are calling each other and clearly I can do all the stuff I see how often this class is called and so on. I have this class only called by itself. I select it now and say okay I want to exclude it and so on and so forth. You see me now a little bit selecting. I'm clicking through excluding element, just selecting them and they are now in time lapse done fast and you explore better yourself and tell me what you find out. So I have a there is a functionality that is worthwhile to mention in this whole context and it's called the reverse diagram. Right now the endings of the lines from one class or package component to another are based on the outgoing connection strength and not the incoming connection strength and you can do this also. This was was what was done. However, you see now there is also back functionality where you can get the steps back, 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 back. This is normal back button in the browser. The whole state of the diagram is always saved in the URL. So you can copy and paste the URL and uh, send it to a friend. So and now uh, you can see I'm just clicking and you can see I have can have this reverse diagram at any view where I see the thickness of the line is based on the incoming connections not the outgoing connections. So all in all this was the introduction how you can use this diagram and I am curious if you find out how we can um, slice the JDT or with how are the components relating to each other I think it has been a while since I got the data out of this JDT so it may have changed till today and right now I would like to get as much as possible feedback for our team. I, we would be really glad to hear from you what you think about this approach. Do you think it's useful? Do you think you would use it in your project? You can also fork it in GitHub and um, reload um, comma separated values into this core diagram so you, can, so you can use your own comma separated values with the same JavaScript if you fork it. So now we are really curious for your feedback. Please share the stuff that as much as possible people get to know it, that we get as much as possible feedback. Just comment it or drop a mail. We will try to sort all of them out. Thanks a lot for listening and I hope the explanation how you use this code diagram was understandable. If not, also drop a mail or just comment the YouTube video and have a nice day.